Hello, do you want to know four techniques that I've got for realistic camera acting? Then don't go away! Hello everyone, I'm Alana Marie and welcome to another video. In this video I have compiled four simple tips we can use in order to help us act as realistically as possible when in front of the camera. So, without further ado, let's begin! First tip I have for you is to don't show it, think it. You're not supposed to look like you're acting, right? That's the goal here. So a lot of aspiring actors, when they first get in front of the camera, get all worried about showing that their character is thinking and feeling things. We don't act like this in real life, so why do we act like this in front of the camera? Trust that the camera will pick up your emotions, those thoughts and feelings your character is having. Don't worry about showing it to the camera. Just have the thought behind the eyes. Think those things that the character is feeling, as much as is possible of course. Acting is the only profession where the goal is to have the viewer forget that you're acting, or have the viewer forget that you're an actor. For instance, we don't look at a painting and go, wow, that painting is amazing, I forgot Picasso was a painter for a moment there. But for acting, or for acting realistically, that is the goal. To make your performance feel real, so that the audience can get lost in the story, right? So that the audience can suspend their disbelief, so that they can find cathartic release, and can ultimately forget they're watching actors playing make-believe. Rex would have something to say about this, of course, but that's for another video. Okay, tip two. It's not how you say it. It's why you say it. A lot of aspiring actors, when they are starting out, they get hooked up on how they should say things, how they should say the lines. This makes people look like they're acting. Think about it. In real life, you don't go around thinking about how you should say things, unless you're preparing a speech or a confession or a breakup or something. But again, that's acting. For most of the time, you usually think about why you say things. Therefore, if we want to act realistically, it's important to understand why our character is saying what they're saying. Then the how they should say it will just come naturally out of that, if you don't force it and you just let it happen. So think about it, what is the character's motive? Why are they saying this particular line in this way? We're getting into Stanislavski now and his units on objectives. If you want to look into this more, units, objectives, Stanislavski. But think about it. Is a character being poetically verbose to express the extent of emotional pain they're going through? Are they joking and resorting to utter bullshit to change the subject and hide their sadness? Are they making jokes like this and thinking sad thoughts? Making jokes like this and at the same time thinking sad thoughts can reveal some contrasting layers to a character that also helps make them appear realistic. The third tip I have for you is don't pause all the time. Learn your lines. I'm talking about a particular type of pause here because at the same time you shouldn't be afraid of silence or of pauses because that can make you seem a bit more agitated and nervous. Don't be afraid of the silence or the pause or everybody's eyes on you but there's a particular type of pause that I've watched happen a lot in workshops and lessons and it's usually when people don't know the lines or don't know what to say next. Basically, don't pause after every sentence like there is a bad connection. Don't pause after every sentence or line or phrase or whatever. It's so unrealistic, it's unreal. So many starting out actors do this and I've actually seen actors that have been acting for a while and they do this and it's so annoying. It just draws attention to the fact they're acting and they usually emphasise the pause with a sigh. <sighs> Like, nobody talks like that. They pause between each character's lines like there is a bad connection or something. Or they'll do a massive sigh, like I just said, to buy time because they haven't prepared enough and they haven't really learnt the lines. I've seen this happen in workshops and lessons and it's annoying. Learn your lines. Yes, there's an argument against it in real life. You don't have to memorise a bunch of lines and there's an argument out there where people say not preparing can help them come across more natural because the more you prepare the more likely you are to fall into a trap of becoming robotic and repeating the exact vocal intonation every time you recite a line and this can make it seem unrealistic. You lose the rawness there and the, the layers and all that. There is an argument that says preparing too much in this way can stop you reacting to the other character in the scene and can make the whole thing look unrealistic. However, my argument against this is, in real life, you can say whatever you like. You can't do this when you're acting. It's not a real situation and trying to make it a real situation isn't going to work. You're just going to forget your lines, add in a stupid pause and sigh unnecessarily. Like you're meant to pause there. Like you're just thinking. <sighs> it's annoying to the other actor as well. Who is trying to react to you? Just learn your lines and prepare. If you react to the other character totally and become responsive, then you won't end up repeating the same vocal intonation. You can still learn your lines and still do this. Anyway, those pauses, stop them. They're unrealistic. Fourth point, rhythm. Do not copy your scene partner's rhythm. Stop copying the same way your scene partner talks and acts and that overall energy. 
because it just looks samey and you're both doing the same thing and it just looks like you're acting and people have their own beings and you know it becomes samey and boring and no one does this in real life it's so boring to watch and it's just bad acting plus it's annoying for the other actor who's trying to listen to your character and react to you and what you're saying have a variety of intonation in your voice don't stick to one tone throughout no one talks like this in real life people usually talk like this when they're reading something out um yeah don't mimic your other character's energy it just looks like an acted scene it looks like you're reading things out and nobody talks like this you end up saying the same thing you get trapped in this cycle of the same repeated energy have your own intonation and energy be your own person anyway that's the tips for me i hope they all made sense Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, thanks for that as well. This has been a video. This has been a video about acting realistically on screen. The techniques are by no means exhaustive, and you might come up with your own. That's fine. I know I'll be coming up with more ways in which we as actors can act more natural or real on screen. So stay tuned for those. And if you have any questions or comments, or would just like to discuss anything in general, then please feel free to leave a message in the comment section to this video. Bye for now.